This is a mock interview conducted by Forum IS Academy at New Delhi. The interview panel includes eminent academicians, retired bureaucrats, and other luminaries. The objective of program is to acquaint the candidate with the format and expectations of the personality test conducted by UPSC. May I come in, sir? Yes, please. Good, Good evening, sir. sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Please sit down. Good Thank you, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, I'm a little uh, amused because you are an MBBS doctor, qualified yes, doctor. And option up, you are taking literature of Punjabi language. Yes, sir. And this is your first attempt? Uh, no, sir. This is my second attempt. Last year, I got selected into Deneps. Into Danips. Danix. All right. Okay. So where are you posted now in Danix? You uh, are in the sir in Danips. I have to join uh, in March. Yes. Sir. All right. So now you want to get into the regular IPS. Yes. All right. Why so? Sir, during the course of my graduation, that is MBBS, I developed interest in discipline of forensic medicine, and sir also have immense passion of uh, police uniform and policing as a service. And I believe with my uh, background in medical sciences and also being a sports person, I can learn and contribute better in Indian police services. But why so many doctors are opting for the civil services? But if you go to Western world, people do not opt for civil services, those who are from the medical profession. Why they stand in India? Sir, uh, I think it is because here we have opportunities more. Uh, Western countries are more developed. But the opportunities here in India as a developing country, sir, to create more impact and uh, to serve more people to the last mile, so the opportunities are more here. So you personally feel that since you get a lot of authority and power and you can make difference in the lives of masses, yes. that's why you want to join? All right, good. All right, uh, in your view, Gursimrat, what is the biggest challenge before the country? Sir, uh, there are many challenges, but on economical economical front, sir, inflation is the biggest challenge, and on security front, sir, national security is also another biggest challenge. Oh, the first, what did you say? Sir, uh, inflation and uh, growth, sir. Inflation and growth. All right. Since you are talking about the security. Yes. And Taran Taran was uh, in a uh, lot of news earlier. Yes, sir. Because of the internal uh, security issue. Suppose you become SP of Taran Taran and you had to take care of uh, uh, the extremists and the uh, terrorists. What will you do? Something which is new. Sir, uh, Taran Taran being a border district, sir, I'll ensure proper coordination between the border security force and the state police so that uh, the porous borders can be plugged and no external state uh, drones and uh, the smuggling uh, has to be stopped there. On the societal front, sir, I'll make sure with uh, new innovative measures such as community policing, we are engaging with the youth of the district so that they are not getting vulnerable to uh, such uh, anti-national or uh, such movements such as uh, uh, Khalistan movement, which is dormant now. And also, I'll ensure uh, patrolling and more security measures uh, everywhere so that... All right. Uh, yes, sir. Do you watch uh, Netflix? Uh, yes, sir. All right. Very good. So there is a series and now the new season has also come. Khak. Pardon? Khaki, sir. No, no. Other yes, one. Sir. Israel. Can you name that? Israel Palestinian Father. F A U D A Father. Uh, sir, I have not watched it. I'll... All right, kindly watch that. And that will give a great insight how Israelis have been able to take care of extremism, terrorism, anti-social element without interfering in the lives of common people and without troubling common people, rather protecting every citizen of the country. It's a wonderful series. When did you interview? It's the 2nd of March. I have time. So, we've got time. Yes. It's a very, very big, uh, third or fourth season hai, and every season has got about 8-10 kind of uh, episodes. But that will give insight. 
idea is basically to take advantage of technology and with the help of technology without interfering you can be extremely effective to check such activities right sir i recently went to israel and without any interference there nobody checked me anywhere i could go to jerusalem the the most sensitive part nobody asked me ever on anything they never checked me but they were watching every every step of mine only with technology all right take all the very best take care i'll request yes, my colleague yes. to take over hmm so how are you dear uh, i'm doing good sir thank you it seems that we have met here dear yes sir last year sir. okay <laughs> yeah this is what ha huh? kyunki face resembling lag raha so you mentioned about that movie on netflix khaki dekha yes batao uh so it was about an officer uh, mr loda who was an ips officer in bihar cadre and uh, it has various uh, uh, his chapters full, his full name was uh, amit loda mr amit loda and uh, he uh, sir he controlled the situation there and uh, through uh, technology and, and a telephone network he controlled the nexus of uh, politics and criminals there mm -hmm. okay good uh i can see your preferences your men and ips at first but, preference yes, sir. why so uh, sir uh, it is about during graduation that i developed interest in forensic medicine and toxicology and sir uh, i think with my background in medical sciences and no given a choice suppose you you are given is even though even then you will opt for ips yes sir okay good Anyway, what are the challenges being faced by police nowadays? Major challenges before uh, policing. Yes, sir. so policing sector is facing many challenges. Uh, first will be the perception of police. Uh, there is a trust deficit, and that image has to be made improved. And so, second will be police force is overburdened and understaffed. We have one thirty seven police personnel per lakh population. and uh, un recommends 222 personnel per lakh population sir so apart from that modernization of police force our police force is outdated and we need to modernize with efficient use of technology so fourth will be representation of women so we need to sensitize the police forces and also uh, make sure that women are also represented in the force uh, so fifth will be separation of uh, law and order and crime and investigation wings as envisaged by the prakash singh judgment okay good good Yes, sir. Uh, sir, Gur Simrat, hello. Yes, you are from Taran Taran. Uh, uh, sir, I am from Patiala. Your place uh, of birth is place sir. of birth, yes, sir. Taran Taran, can you explain the origin of the name? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, Taran Taran, uh, it uh, it it is a name of a ferry that uh, it it means that uh, to swim across the boat and uh, join with the gods, sir. Okay, that. so. Uh, tell me about the history of the town or city whatever you call it yes. who who uh, founded the city guru arjan dev ji founded it sir guru and there is a famous gurudwara shri darbar sahib and it has the largest holy tank darbar sahib it is also called darbar sahib yes sir but harimandar sahib is also called yes. darbar sahib so it is also called and it has the largest uh, sarovar holy tank in the world okay so is it a, also a takht uh, yes sir So Taran Taran is not a takht. Uh, Amrit Sir Har Mandir Sahib is a Kal takht. Yes. Okay. Okay. How many takts are there? Uh, sir, five takts are there. Five. Yes. All right. Okay. So you have uh, literature. Yes, sir. Your, uh, so how has Punjabi uh, uh, writers? Uh, what is their uh, you know attitude to partition? How have they uh, you know uh, addressed this in their works? Yes, sir. Uh, for example, Amrita Pritam Ma'am has written in her famous poem "A Jakhan Wadi Shanu." She portrays the massacre and anguish during those time in 1947, and the pain which people have felt during those times. Uh, and so, uh, till today, the vestiges of that uh, sad moment, that unfortunate moment, is there. So, okay. So, Amrita Pritam is one. Uh, how about Pinjar? She has written Pinjar. What is the theme of Pinjar? Uh, sir uh, pinjar she has written about women empowerment uh, the lead character puro 
how she faces violence in the patriarchal society okay and uh, uh, does this cover pakistani authors also the syllabus does it cover because pakistan also has pakistan punjab also has yes, sir. rich punjabi but, uh, history not in our syllabus but it's i have read one or two authors so. which which author have you read uh, alama akbal anwar mansood but they haven't covered partition no sir. no sir so do you think that they will have a different attitude to partition Uh, so I believe yes, their side of story might be different. Uh, how many Punjabi authors have won a Sahitya Academy Award? Uh, so the exact number I I don't know, but I know the who who have won. Who all have won? So the first was Pai V Singh ji. Uh, okay. Amita Pitam was the first women recipient. Uh, Gurdial Singh ji, Mohan Singh ji, Shiv Kumar Batalvi. Nanak Singh. Nanak one? Singh. Yes. Nanak Singh has also. One? Yes. Do you think that Punjabi literature, uh, you know, compared to other vernacular languages, Punjabi is not so prominent and is lacking at a, if I may, we were at a national level. Punjabi literature doesn't get that prominence. And lately, there, I, I don't think there has been any winner in the recent times. So, can you argue that Punjabi literature is on the decline? Sir, uh, compared to other literature, uh, yes, the, it has not got that much prominence. But still, sir, some uh, writers such as Harmanjit Singh, he has written Rani Tat, which is very famous among the youth. And also, uh, he was uh, uh, he got Yuva Puraskar in two thousand seventeen. So, right, uh, Narendra Kapoor sir has uh, written many novels lately. And uh, sir, yes, but compared to other literatures, uh, we need to provide good translations as well. Uh, for example, Nanak Singh's novel is translated into English by his grandson, Mr. Navdeep Suri sir. Okay, all right. And uh, you have studied Baba Farid University. Yes, sir. Who? Uh, can you tell me what was philosophy of Baba Farid? Yes, sir. So Baba Farid ji was a Sufi poet of, of 12th century, and he was from Chishti Silsila. So his 112 shlokas and four shabds are incorporated in Shri Guru Granth Sahib ji. And sir, his philosophy uh, of sir mutual love and tolerance, and sir how we can connect with one God. Sir, it uh, tells about that. he has any influence on punjabi culture also yes sir uh, farid kot is named after him and uh, uh, there is a sirai also in jerusalem sir in punjab also sir uh, his spiritual teachings uh, we sir his shlokas are very uh, the, uh, very common in uh, punjabi folklore sir okay okay all right that's all for my side i'll you, pass sir. on to the next one thank you guru simrat ji yes sir you have filled up Police services as your first preference, right? Right, right sir. Uh, Prime Minister has recently suggested about one nation, one uniform. Yes, sir. What is your idea on that? Uh, sir, I think it is a progressive move in setting up a uniform uh, service and uniform identity. That uh, dif- uh, though police is a state subject and different uh, uh, state police have their own uniform, but sir, uh, that will provide a uniform respect and identity at the national level. so people who are maybe illiterate they can also identify that this is the police uniform and that will create more awareness and in identification and also mutual trust sir okay you talked about single national identity yes sir. so when you talk about national identity do you think there is a synergy between different uh, police forces of different states uh, sir uh, there is but there are also few issues of lack of coordination between different uh, intelligence agencies state police and different investigation agencies such as cbi etc so more coordination and uh, also the honorable prime minister said in the dg and igp's conference that uh, data exchanges between different forces is required so that uh, synergy and coordination can be boosted talking about synergy and coordination there was one particular incident regarding punjab police came to delhi to arrest a person then they were interrupted by haryana police and the whole operation went to the court itself can you recall it uh, sir the exact i know the i don't know the details right now but sir i have heard of this i read in the news sir it was regarding arrest of mr tajinder bagga uh, yes sir so what happened in that case if you are aware sir i am no. not able to recall right now i'll go and check again sir okay so in punjab new gov- uh, government is there and they will almost be completing one year yes sir. so what steps they have been talking about in their campaigns about police reforms and load etc yes sir what steps have they taken sir on uh, police front they have formulated anti gangster task force 
to uh, nab the uh, gangsters and also to uh, sir create uh, a trust between uh, people and sir also they have come up with anti corruption helpline uh, sir uh, people can report directly through that helpline number if there is such incident regarding is it specific to police force only Uh, so for any public servants uh, mm-hmm. people can report okay. directly to the cm sir okay and any other reform uh, sir right now i am unable to recall these two okay uh, you are also a doctor yes sir uh, what is your opinion about mental health of police force so so police force uh, they are overburdened and uh, not just their physical health but mental health is also also an issue so i believe a specialized counseling services uh, to police personnel uh to catering to their issues is also required in police sector so so specialized uh, health counselors or mental health counselors are required for them as well okay that is one solution give me some because you are from mbbs yes sir give me some personalized answer sir also uh, sir sports uh, can be promoted uh, regular uh, training for their physical and mental health uh, can be promoted uh, maybe one year or maybe in six month training regular training can be conducted by dg level people and sir uh, right till the constabulary that will uh, enhance their mental health sir they can be they can follow sports okay. and yoga sir okay you were also you have been a sports person yes i represented under 19 basketball you have been into basketball under 19 captain etc right yes sir so you would have gone through various strategies yes uh, what is what do you understand by screening so screening is a strategy on a defensive uh, front we guard uh, sir we guard uh, the attack person the person who is going who is uh, attacking and taking the ball dribbling the ball sir from that team uh, sir we defense and uh, we provide defense to the defense and the person can then cater and uh, maneuver through the, towards the goal post won't, won't be offensive you are providing defense to the offense uh so we provided uh, defense to the defense sir it can also be done for the offense also right yes sir so that is also screening yes in that manner that can And also be what screened. is boxing out uh sir boxing out is when uh, screening can be tackled uh with the maneuver mm-hmm. sir with the pivot foot it can the screen can be broken by the defensive player sir come again sir with the pivot of the foot mm-hmm. the screening can be broken out by the defensive player Maybe for screening or it can be done for any other purpose sir for rebounds as well that can be broken okay yes okay thank you thank you sir